so your uh, reading 30 was completely theory based valuation and processes so this was the first part we looked at uh, different definitions of value intrinsic value means the worth of that particular asset then a going concern value what was going concern going concern value was assuming that business will run for foreseeable future so that was going concern value then liquidation is against going concern that if i decide to sell off there was a orderly liquidation value concept what was that yes that if i sell immediately i might get lesser value but if i get more time we will fetch higher value so that was orderly liquidation value then we looked at fair value and investment value what was fair value a knowledgeable buyer knowledgeable seller market value is fair value but then we distinguish that from the investable or investment value what was investment value yes synergy that value to a particular buyer that for example asset might be worth 10 but to a particular buyer it might be substantially more valuable so that was investment value then we looked at grossman stiglitz uh, paradox anyone correct perfect right correct yes so how he started with this paradox he said that if the stocks are trading at intrinsic value which means all the information is incorporated into the price so if that is the case no investor will really buy that information or no investor would do any analysis and if that is the case which means that that information is not factored into price which means that prices are not trading at intrinsic value isn't it so in a way what he is trying to say is that he is trying to prove here that it's very difficult that the markets would be completely efficient okay that was the whole idea with this hypothesis then applicability of equity valuation okay theory points but you need to remember them that we can use them for stock selection for inferring market expectation expectations about growth rate or required rate of return evaluation of corporate events mergers and acquisition dividend stock splits rendering fairness opinion business strategy private business valuation and share based payment okay so again we saw a few questions where they'll give you three options one of them might not be the same component five steps of valuation processes understanding business forecasting company performance appropriate valuation model converting forecast to valuation and valuation conclusion and then we looked at a few important terms first one was sotp sum of total parts valuation where you break down business into multiple parts and then do a collective valuation conglomerate discount yes like lnt or itc where um, it's a conglomerate there are multiple businesses which are unrelated so if the firms are being valued let's say if there are three business parts and collectively a plus b should be 30 then probably the firm might trade at 25 right so that difference of 5 was the conglomerate discount and then we looked at blockage factor what was blockage factor yes when you're selling a huge block of shares then probably that price might be slightly lower than the normal market price and then that difference was called as the blockage factor okay. so theory reading but uh, make sure you remember all the theory parts in this am i done with this yeah